Hey everyone, Carl G. Larson here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stop self-sabotaging and start getting the results you want today. Okay, gentlemen, daddypreneurs, self-sabotage, have you ever experienced it? My guess is yes, you probably have. Why? Because we all have. We all come into this world and grow into this world and develop limiting beliefs and, in, 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 and influences that are not supportive of our goals and basically things that hold us back. And a lot of times we let those things hold us back for a, a variety of reasons. But today I want to teach you guys to understand why that happens and how you can break through to stop the self-sabotage. From my own personal perspective, I had, I sabotaged, self-sabotaged for years, guys. I had a seven-year time frame where I was a yo-yo dieter. I would get results, then destroy my results, and get more results and destroy those results, get a little bit of results and just massively destroy those. And it was because I didn't understand what was happening psychologically and um, just in my body. Right, and what my body needed, and what how that relationship between nutrition and exercise, and, and who I was inside, how that really um, was manifested in my physical body. And when I had these things click, things things really started to move forward for me. And so, guys, it really, really was a struggle for seven years of progress, no progress. And you really lose belief after that. I mean, after failing over and over, and you never get what you want, but you keep saying you want it. It's almost like you're lying to yourself and you feel like it's not possible. So I don't know what it is for you, but if that is the case, something related, guys, I'm here to tell you it's okay. You can get it. You will get it. You just got to be perseverant and really continually studying yourself. So that was my experience. When I broke through, guys, I lost 17 pounds of body fat and put on 10 pounds of muscle in a month and a half. It was crazy. Those are just my results. Not something that happened for you, but it was unbelievable. Ever since then, I've gone up and up and up and up. I feel amazing. I built the best body I've ever had in my life. Better now than I was when I was a collegiate athlete working out four to five hours a day. How is that possible? Because I've learned a few things about what I need to fuel my body with. But today we want to talk about self sabotage. So I want to uh, use an analogy for you here. Okay, think about a thermostat. Think about uh, your room temperature. So your living room at home, right? Let's say it's at the 70 degrees and it's midwinter out. 70 degrees in the living room, super cold outside, 20 degrees outside. Now what happens if you open the front door to let the cold, the cold air will come in, right? It'll let the cold air in and the living room temperature, what'll happen? It'll drop. So then what'll happen is a thermostat will recognize this, the sensors in the house will recognize this, and boom, it kicks on the furnace and it starts pumping in hot air because it knows it needs to be at 70 degrees because that's what the system is programmed to be at, 70 degrees. Now likewise in the summertime, right, let's say it's programmed to be at 68 degrees in the living room and it's 90 degrees outside. And same thing, you open up the front door, all this hot air comes in, the temperature in the room rises, and what happens? Boom, the AC kicks on to bring the temperature back down to 68 degrees because that's where it was programmed to be at. Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, you have a set of programmed values and beliefs about yourself that you don't even know. From when you were a little kid, growing up, you took on the beliefs and values of those around you just because you, did, you weren't able to decide. At that point in your life, you couldn't decide if you wanted those or not. Now we're at a point in our lives or you're running a business, you're a dad, you're kicking butt, and you get to decide what you want your values and beliefs to be. And it's time to reflect upon what those values and beliefs were from the people you were around for most of your life when you were a kid growing up. And some of them you may not even realize. Okay, so for example, for me, when I was growing up, one of the things that my family uh, had me do, my dad had me do, was make my bed every morning. Right, And the reason he had me do that, which I didn't know at the time, was he wanted me to learn discipline. He wanted me to learn responsibility. He wanted me to learn contribution to the household. Because I was, as he, he said, he would say, son, when you're living under my roof and you're eating my food, you follow my rules. When you choose not to do that, you can make your own rules. But until that time, you need to follow the rules and you need to contribute to this household. Because that's what we do in this family. So did I like that? No. I was like, this is stupid, whatever. And he's like, I don't care. Listen, this is how it goes. So what do you do? You just kind of follow suit, right? So it was programmed into me from a little kid that, listen, if I wanted to be there and be with my family, which I did, I needed to follow certain things. Make my bed, take out the trash, mow the lawn, I had all these chores all the time I had to do. Boom, 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 boom. That taught me self-discipline, right? That taught me things that serve me now. So that was a good thing. On the other hand, 
there were other things that, um, you know, that were, I was adopted or that I took on that I've had to change myself, right? And so maybe for you and, and your family, maybe you've heard the term, money doesn't grow on trees. Why did you pick that up? Did you see how much that cost? Put that back down. We can't shop there. That's not, we don't shop at places like that, right? We don't buy that kind of food. That's expensive food. Right? So all of these different things we hear when we're growing up get stored into us about our abundance mentality or lack thereof. Okay, so guys, if you want to stop self-sabotage, you have to understand what your set points are, where they are at in different areas of your life. What's your financial set point? I'm here to tell you how much money you're making right now in your life is a direct reflection of what your set point is at. If you feel like you deserve $50,000 a year, then you're going to make $50,000 a year. And it doesn't matter. Whatever it'll take, you'll make that much money. If you feel like you don't deserve $50,000 a year, like deep down, but you are making $50,000 a year, you will self-sabotage and bring yourself back down to the level that you are at, to that level, whatever that level is. Now, let's talk about wellness, right? Daddypreneur wellness. So... What is your set point in your wellness in your wellness area in your wellness life? So, what is your physique like? What do you want it to be? Okay, for me, I was 180, 185 pounds continually carrying around 20 plus pounds of fat that I didn't need that was bringing me down, and uh, I didn't ever perform the way I wanted to perform. But what would I do? I would make progress and I'd smash it down. Make progress, smash it down. And it wasn't until I reflected on why I was doing what I was doing and what I really deserved and what I really wanted deep down that I finally made a decision, drew line in the sand, stepped over that and really was like, here we go, right? And that's the decision that needs to happen for you and in your wellness. So what, what needs to happen for you going forward? Do you need to lose 10 pounds of body fat? Do you need to lose 50 pounds or more? Do you need to put on 10 pounds of muscle? Do you need just to feel better? Maybe you just want to wake up out of bed and have energy. Or maybe you want to have energy mid-afternoon when you typically have an energy crash and then you drink that double espresso coffee, double espresso uh, caffeinated drink to push you through, the non-natural energy. What if you didn't need that? What if you had energy all day long? Okay, so you've developed a set point based on your beliefs about what you feel like you deserve. And until you change those beliefs, adjust that set point from 70 to 80 or from 70 to 60, whatever it is for you, right, in the wellness side, Maybe you want a six pack, you've always wanted a six pack, but you've never got it. Guys, I'm here to tell you that if you don't believe you deserve one, you're never gonna get one. It isn't until you actually believe that you deserve one that you'll start to take the actions in alignment with that goal. And this whole mental, psychological set point thing is infinitely deep, but I wanted to give you guys a taste of, of the mindset behind getting results. It's what you feel like you deserve and the beliefs you have. So we talk about wellness, we talk about meal planning, we talk about protein, we talk about carbohydrates and, and structuring things to maximize your energy. But it all comes back down to what you believe you deserve. And when you finally reflect and make that decision that no longer will I accept what I've been accepting, I'm going to elevate my, uh, what I deserve in my wellness life and how much energy I have and what I want my physique to be like and my masculinity to be like, my energy to be like, not until that point will you finally see progress. So I encourage you today, take time, think about that kind of stuff, guys, and continually watching this YouTube channel and at carljlarson.com because we're gonna dive deeper into these subjects and really, really take a look at what your set point's at. With that, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, if you like that information and you want to get more of that quality how-to inspirational stuff, I encourage you click the link below this video to have access to the training, three-day training uh, video series that's going to go deeper into the world of nutrition and how do you maximize your energy and vitality by giving your body the fuel that it naturally needs. And there's certain things you do to maximize that and certain things you do that minimize that. And I'm going to teach you how to maximize everything so you can invest into your business, invest into your life with passion and purpose and be able to take care of your family that you've like that you wanted to do. So click the link below and take action on it today.